Superstar! <laughs> Woo! Ooh, how's hey. it going, friend? It goes, it goes. Well, I guess so. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the bar this week. Absolutely. Welcome. Friends, Superstar! Friends, foes, and... Space travelers. Space travelers. Cinema goers. Cinema goers. Venturers to the movies. Yep. Mm. Which we thought we were going to do and then did. Not today. Wasn't in the cards today. Or yesterday. Exactly. We debated it. And then we were like, yeah, mm -hmm. don't feel like being around a ton of people. Not Herm today. It. Today wasn't the day for sure. Today Herm wasn't the day. It. I think because we want to catch it. I love going when the seats are comfy and it's not as busy and you're chilling watching the movie in you the big what, comfy though? seats. I love the big comfy seats. I love the big I recliners, love, yeah, man. Me too. The big recliners. You got the big recliners and you're just chilling there and it's comfy. That's yeah. that's how to watch a movie. I think that's how to watch a movie for sure. I want to get over this whole like. I don't want to go because there's too many people thing that has developed over the last little while. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of an interesting thing to go into like the bigger crowds these days. You know what I mean? I find like there's some sort of kind of thing that we're still like I I'm personally still figuring out what bigger crowds to be like in, you know? Yeah. But he's just kind of like it's kind of like it's still a bit of a thing a little bit. It's a I bit find. of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I agree with yeah. you. As much as we probably don't want to like say that it's a thing, like I think it's still like a little a bit of a thing. I think it's a thing. Big crowds, big crowds on a good day are always kind of. Eh. It's a thing. But yeah, if you're in a big group or there's a lot of people around, it can no, it can be a thing. It's it can just be a like thing. it's pretty busy here. Pretty but busy like here. I remember going to the theater before, and it was fun if there was a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, people would like cheer and shit if the movie was good. Yeah, that's true. There was a Once lot in more. Once a while, that happens. Yeah, or yell at the screen or something like that. I remember I went to a movie once with my second cousin, and I almost like had to leave because the guy like couldn't stop yelling at the screen. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, what yeah, movie yeah. Was it? Do you remember? No, dude. I think I was like twelve or something. Oh, okay. But he was just so, like, I had never gone to a movie with somebody that was that animated and about yelling at the screen in the theater. And I was just sitting there, I'm like, you know, every five minutes he'd, like, yell something at the screen. I was, like, kind of thrown back. I'm like, is he, like, yelling at the screen? I'm like... That's hilarious. Yeah, I thought it was... I, I couldn't, like, I but I was, I was probably, like, 12. So I couldn't, like, I probably couldn't even watch the whole movie. Like, I, get, I did, I guess, like, but... It, that was kind of a weird memory because I just remember sitting there and he was just yelling while the movie was playing. And I'm like, I've never sat with someone that's yelled that much while the like, get him, get him, just like things like that while the movie was playing. Oh, that's and funny. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, like what? Like, and there was other people in the theater that kind of like looked around. I'm like, I don't know if you yell that much. Yeah, but, that's excessive. But there's definitely some engagement when you watch the movie sometimes. You can yeah. like hear it in like the crowds and stuff. It's yeah, fun. and it, it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. You like cheer or something, or you obviously you laugh, something funny or whatever, but it's definitely a part of the experience for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But as I've experienced more movies, I do enjoy the comfy chairs, man. The recliners are nice. I love them comfy chairs. They're nice. Nothing like sitting there in that big old fluffy recliner and checking out the flick. Yep. Definitely the best. But we will get out there and see, obviously, the new Scream. Scream 6. <coughs> 6! Uh, Scream 6. Isn't that amazing that they're rocking? Scream 6. It's out now. And I think that I, I, you know, I've watched the trailer. Looks like it's good, but I haven't seen it yet. Gonna go check it out soon, though. Yeah. That's for sure. I, I watched the trailer. Okay. I really like what they're they seem to be doing with Ghostface in this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghostface seems a lot more edgy and dark. Yeah, Which true, is cool because true. of the previous ones. True. Mm -hmm. It's been more of a, like a quirky. Yeah, he's kind of got like a little bit of more of a dark side kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah. That's kind yeah, of interesting. So yeah, so I'm stoked like that. for that. I'm wondering what they're going to do without Sydney. Like, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they tied that kind of plot in there. I, I don't know if you know, but mm -hmm. I don't know. If they just took out her character or if they have another actress playing her. 
I'm not 100% sure. I hope they just took out the character. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't want to... The one thing that I don't like to do is figure out too much before going to check something out. Same. Like, I'll just watch a little trailer or whatever, but I don't want to, like, figure out too much before I'm going to see something, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, let's just go, let's just go watch it, whatever it is. Did you mean is. to keep the lights, uh... Yeah, I thought I hit the button. Well, we're having technical difficulties today. Dude, the laptops weren't working. All kinds of wacky things were going on today. I was trying to do the thing. What's that? What's that moon sign you were talking about? Where like the moon signs are going or some shit? Are you What's talking that? About Mercury retrograde? Yeah. So when Mercury's in retrograde, technology doesn't work very well no. or something, right? Is that yeah, what you were yeah, saying? Yeah. Because communication's all fucked. So if Mercury's in this retrograde thing, which I'll be trying to figure that out for the rest of my life. Um, then yeah, I guess it affects technology, communication, whatever, right? Yeah, because Mercury is a planet of communication, so... Oh, is it? Hmm. I don't know, this is just fun to me. Like, I don't take it super seriously. Doing this? What? No, I'm talking about Mercury and retrograde. I was like, yeah, of course. So Mercury and retrograde? Well, you see, if... Did you say Mercury was the planet of communication? Communication, knowledge... Um, okay, okay. So if Mercury, thinking. if Mercury is the planet of communication, have they tried to reach out to it to see if there's any aliens on it that want to communicate from uh, well, from that planet? You see, the thing with Mercury is it's the first planet from the sun. Okay. So either uh, you go on one side of Mercury and you burn up into a crisp because it's too hot, mm. or you go to the other side of Mercury and you turn into a frosty ice bear. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Frosty ice bear man bear pig. Man bear pig ice sculpture. Ma man bear pig ice sculpture. So yes. you turn into a man bear pig ice sculpture. Yes. Whoa, when you're living on that planet. Yes. That's kind of interesting. I don't think anything could live on Mercury. Nothing could live on Mercury? I don't Except so. for man bear pig. Do you think man bear pig could live on Mercury? I don't even think man bear pig could live on Mercury. You don't think it's that man extreme. bear pig could live on Mercury? It's too extreme even for man bear pig. Man bear pig. I think man bear pig could live anywhere, though. I think mm. if man bear pig put his mind to it, man bear pig could definitely live on any planet. I feel like man bear pig is a planet traveler. And okay. in my mind, man bear pig, um, he, he loves to explore different planets. Okay. And I feel like in my mind, man bear pig is out there searching for more life on different planets. Because that's a side quest of Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig? Yeah. I think he's the best. He's pretty great. Man Bear Pig, side quest. But scream. Sorry, I'm really excited about it, but also nervous. Because... Yeah, should we talk about this a little bit? Maybe people are wondering about what this is. Go for it. So this is the doll that we made. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. That's why if you're, if you're looking at it and wondering what it is... This is uh, definitely the uh, the doll that we created. It's a fancy little scream inspired one for sure. <sighs> I'm super excited to check it out. Absolutely, see, absolutely. Now I'm like, oh, I'm seeing all the things. You see the she? Okay, so we make these things. We make these things, and <laughs> every time, like, you're we're so like detail oriented for some things. That every time we make something, all we do is start seeing the flaws after yeah, we make but it. I so mean... There's flaws here. There's flaws okay. there. So... There's flaw. There's a flaw in the line. There's a flaw this way. So when we first made these things, like all of this is made out of clay. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I I guess this type of clay like. Does this or, it expands? Or it the expands. Plastic? I don't the know. clay expands. The clay expands. <coughs> and shrinks, right? It shrinks. It expands. Yeah. So then that makes cracks, and then it doesn't. Uh. Mm. See, it kind of works for Ghostface because Ghostface is wearing like yeah. a pretty. Tattered... I can see the. I can see the line in the back of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But she's wearing like a pretty tattered thing, so it's mm. not as bothersome on that one yeah exactly some of our other exactly. ones because we make quite a few some of our other mm. ones they're... yeah because we started a brand for this actually and uh, beyond the dollhouse figurines is the brand that we started for this particular um doll that we were kind of hacking away we got a bunch of other ones too that we've made we got excited yeah we got excited we started a brand we made some dolls um we're hacking away at it we haven't made them to a point 
where we feel we're super comfortable enough with the long-term results. I think they look really cool. But like you say, as the cracks start to develop, um, we want, you know, in the brand to be um, a super more tight kind of good looking design. Yeah. So by starting this brand, we want it to be more accurate and kind of represent a more accurate thing of, you know, whatever we're creating down the road. And that's what we have, excuse me, we got burps. Let it out, son. Don't keep talking when you got a burp. Stop your talk. Thank you. That, <laughs> that's what we got to try to figure out is how to make them look the same like the day after we make them than a week or two down the road. Because yeah. when it starts to dry and crack and expand, they, they change and they look different. Mm. So I think that's what we got to get better after I that. I think so. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Because and like, they're so cool. They are really cool. Um, we I have love a, dolls. Yeah, I love customizing things. Yeah. I'm a hyper detail oriented customizing type of person. And I can put hours into just painting things, customizing things. Like, it's just, a, like, I love doing that type of stuff. Yeah, that's fun. I love sitting down and painting things, customizing things. That's something that I could just get into for so long, like just hours I can put into that. Especially horror stuff. Yeah, that's, that's more you. That's more you. That's more me. I've warmed up to the horror you life. You know what? You have. But I, I've like, I wasn't always like super like horror. Woo! But I think I've like warmed up to it. Yeah. I was going to say, I think it's your upbringing. But then again. <laughs> it's just personal taste, I suppose. I, I, I don't even know what drew me to horror in the first place yeah yeah fair. like i really don't what do you hope to see in the new movie like what kind of things would be like really cool for you to to see in the new movie like what like i know it's a tricky question but it is because i haven't thought about it until I know, now i know i know yeah i kind of just um, tossed that one at you. well they nailed the one thing i was actually waiting for them to make ghost face a little okay. bit oh darker. Like, like edgier kind because of thing. in the okay. first one ghost face was dark mm -hmm. like and you didn't see ghost face very much yeah yeah, yeah. right for sure, for sure. Um, that's true and he was very eerie and like yeah. mysterious he mm -hmm. wasn't as like goofy trip over things like Ooh, i'm wearing a mask <laughs> ah, i got a mask on exactly. ah. So, I like that. I'm coming at you with a mask. <laughs> I would like to see it be more gory. Okay. But I don't think that's going to happen with this okay. one because okay. of the rating. Oh, okay. And I don't know if they would ever do that mm. because it's like kind of teen focused. So I don't think they would want to push it so far into like the 18A mm, rating maybe, or maybe. rated R or whatever the fuck. I don't know what they are. Anymore. I am so confused about ratings these days. I try, like, how do you rate something now? How do you even give a rating There's to something? There's a checklist. But like, what, like, like, rating something must be so hard. Like anybody who's trying to rate a movie or put a rating on something, like I find that must, that must be so difficult. I would imagine To sit so. there and watch something and be like... Well, I gotta give this a rating now, you know, like, how, like, that's, like, what? Well, see... It's just in today's time, you, you know? You don't have in to... In today's time, it seems like it's weird. It must you be don't weird. have to think about the rating. All you have to do is, does this movie have blood? Yes. Does this movie have tits? Yes. Do you, are you... Movie... So you're telling me they still have checklists, basically. Yeah, and then if, like, you check off these boxes, this is your rating. That's kind of an interesting thing. I, I didn't know that they would still have, like, check boxes for, like, ratings. That's kind of how it works, yeah. Okay, so someone goes through with the checkbox and says, that that's okay. That, a little bit too much. That one, that's yeah, where, like, you... that's a little bit. And then that, that must be so hard on your head to try to rate something. Like, let's just say... You must, like, just get a headache trying to rate something. You're sitting there like, do I have to rate this? Yeah, it's great. It's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's just say you want uh, uh, uh. your movie to have, like, a lower rating. But in your original movie, you have full frontals, right? Yes. So... Full frontals? You got my attention with full frontals. You said full frontals, so I'm all here. No, you got to keep talking about full frontals. Come on, full frontals. Give me more. No, full frontals. Damn, she, uh, you cut me off three times. You're done. You, you're not going to give me any conversation about nope. full frontals? Nope. <sighs> well, at least we did have some great sex today. We so did. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, sex is good for you. 
Yeah, it was pretty good today, I must say. You know, hey, full frontal. It works out. I'm never Try gonna it, say it sometime. I'm never going to say it now. That's <laughs> been driving you insane. I'll get it from her later. I'll get it from you later. Full frontal. Full frontalness. We got to keep it. I think we got to keep this like PG like 14. Is that what? possible? Us? This? I don't think you can rate us. I think we're like unrateable. Oh, with me, anything's unrateable. You, I'm you're just like. You're I, a basket case. You can't put a rating on us because you're like the I'm destroyer like, of all words. I know. You're like the spawn of Satan. I am the spawn of Satan. Oh, hail to destroy. Oh my god, I need a tattoo of a sperm with little horns. Mm. Uh, oh. Nice. Cheers to uh. that. There, see? That one's from the soul. <laughs> <laughs> you made that look like it was going to be the soul. That one wasn't too bad. That one was pretty good. Remember when uh, they talked about smell vision yeah, smell vision I thought that was going to like get more popular. I thought so, too. Do you think there's still a chance for smell vision or do you think smell vision is kind of not... It's ever really been... not that hard of a technology. <laughs> it already exists. There's fucking eight zillion smellies out there that like, you can buy now. Like, literally... We already have smellies all over the place. There's smellies everywhere. What you would need to do is have, um... <laughs> like, one of those scent dispersing things... In a TV, you know, mm. like they have for Glade plugins. Okay, yeah. You would need that in your TV, and then you'd have to have some sort of thing where you would have to sync your TV with the movie that you were oh, watching. Oh, yeah, I like that. So your TV has the smelly thing on the side of it, and yeah. then you plug it in, and then your TV can emote the smells just right into the side, the smell of vision, and then it throws See, smells I at wasn't, you. I wasn't thinking about, no. I wasn't oh, thinking I'm, of a plug. I'm thinking of it wrong. I was thinking of like the system built into the TV oh. that had like different programmable smells, like say like fart or popcorn. Okay, or so the flowers. TV could actually blow farts at you. Yeah. Ooh. So imagine it was, if it glitched and got stuck and, on fart. Oh, that would suck. Oh. So like you have to like sync oh. it with the movie that you're watching, and then like at a certain timestamp moment in the movie, yeah. like let's say the character lets a big one rip, then the, then the fart, fart comes smell out. smell will come out. Yeah, I agree. Imagine if you had to like call the TV like repair guy, man, my TV is stuck on fart, man. <laughs> I, I don't know, I bought the model, they said it had different kinds of smells, it's stuck on fart, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man, it's stuck on fart. Or, damn, that would stink. Oof. Okay. Ugh. So same concept. Now I don't know if this could have, it can happen. It can happen with video games. Okay. So I'm talking about three things at once. My brain's moving very quickly. I apologize. She's ahead of me today by a hundred yards. I'm flying. She's a whole so, football field ahead of me. Whee! Um, so if you had like, a, I think it's called a micro SD card. Yeah, micro SDs. Yeah, I'm aware of those. In the slot of your TV. Okay. Which, again, has the smellies built into the TV. It's okay. it's a microchip or whatever the fuck motherboard thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the movie, these new smell o vision movies, because they're not 4K, they're different. They're smell o vision Okay. Come in okay. the little micro SD card, like a Nintendo Switch game does. Okay. All okay. of the smellies are programmed into the TV. Okay. And then you put the micro SD card in that yeah. plays your movie, oh. and that would all be connected, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. Right? Yeah. So it's like the same mm. thing as having a 4K movie, how you need to have a 4K compatible TV to True. play the to, movie. To play the 4K, yeah. So for smell vision you would need to have a smell vision mm. Compatible TV to play the smell vision movies on the micro SD card. Oh, I like that. That's a great idea. Look, I'm inventing all kinds of shit today. Like, look at her go, man. Like I said, you're like a hundred yards ahead of me I today, man. I came up with like a, a sock display. I'm like, I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just like, has anyone ever made a sock display? You know, there's hat displays, there's like coat hangers, there's hangers for your shirts. Yeah, Why don't dude. we have hangers for socks? A lot yeah. of people wear cool, funky socks, yeah. but we just shove them in a drawer like they're naughty. You got you got to plant that seed, man. You got to plant that seed. You nice got to plant that seed. Intro. You got to plant that seed, man. You got to plant the sock hanger seed in order to get Amanda's 
world famous. These are copyrighted. Don't steal my shit. Amanda's if world you know how to build these things, contact me. Sock machine. She's full of ideas. I have all kinds of ideas. I just you don't know. know how to I make think them. that's half of the thing for us is we have great ideas, but we lack some of the engineering skills required to make these Not ideas. Not engineer. To make these ideas in the I'm light. I'm a painter. Yeah, we're both artists. I'm a drawer. The thing about artists is we're not always the best engineers, and we try to MacGyver some things, but our engineering prowess is a little lower. I find we're not we're not the best engineer type people. We are not. But yeah, you got to plant some seeds like that idea. Your sock coat hanging. That's great. I think that is great. So, are we leaving behind? Horror movies and moving on to your plants? No, my plants are just hanging out. Look how slow they move. You made plants. I'll talk about them in a minute. They look sad. It's Why? because they don't have enough light right Why now. Why are they drowning? Because they, I brought them down here and they don't have enough light. Or, Usually when the light's right on them, they just go... Mm. Or is it too cold? A little bit of both. I'm bringing them back upstairs um, after. I wanted to talk about the seeds um, at some point, but we can keep going with horror movies. I you like know, them. I'm wearing I can do shirt. I can do a half tie-in where I can say that trying to grow seeds can literally be a horror movie on itself. Well, there's gardening can be a horror movie because it it's hard for people like me that are just kind of starting at No, more like people like me that it, can't keep it, it a plant out. alive. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I can I, I can keep animals alive. Yeah. Somehow? <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. You know, the one thing that I've really learned about, and, and to me, this is the biggest, like, success of my life. Like, like I'm so proud of this. Like, Aww. I'm so proud. Like, I'm going to put it closer so, so if anybody else wants to see, you know, the seeds that I'm growing, like, I'm so proud that I'm able to grow these beautiful seeds and... I want to have like full gardens, full indoor gardens going um, eventually. And I do strongly believe that I think everybody should be getting into all the indoor gardening, growing things on your own. Planting seeds is such a cool thing. You water them, you get to watch them grow. Whether it's a, a yeah. carrot or a weed plant, whatever, man, whatever. But I honestly believe that you learn so much from gardening. I personally have. It's helped me understand how slow time goes when you're when you're working on your gardening. It's true. Um, it really keeps things into perspective to slow down because if you follow the seed, you know the time that a seed is growing, you realize how slow that it's actually going. It's like seeds you plant them and then you stare at it, and it feels like nothing happens because nothing does. But yet at the same time. You come back a week later, if there's a little well, thing. Well, because it's moving so slow, You right? come back two weeks later, you take care of it. It's growing a little bit more. That's why, to me, just having this, just this simple little thing brings so much happiness and joy into my own personal life. That's cool. And I love just looking at it like, what are these little seeds doing today? And then I just look at it and I'm like... Nice. I enjoy watching you grow the seeds. I'm like, nice. And talking to them. Sometimes I give them a little pep talk, yeah. I talk to your plants. I'm like, like little seeds. you got this, seeds. But I'm they're rooting not seeds for you. Anymore. I'm rooting for you, seeds. You got this. They're, they're little baby plants. Yeah, they so are. So say, hello, little baby plant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, man, science says that if you talk and sing to your plants, they grow better. That's true. Yep. Is, is that a, a scientific fact or is that some sort of mythos kind Evidence of Evidence is leaning event. towards yes. Hello, little plants, keep growing strong. There's been multiple studies. Keep on, on that. growing while we're singing along. I want you to dance with me and my plants. Put your beer down and grab the plants. But I like my beer. Grab the plants. I want you to dance with the plants. Let's dance, dance with, with the, the plants. plants. Dance, dance with the plants. plants. Let's dance put down plants. our beers ooh, and ooh, dance ooh. with the plants. With the Hippies plants. and dippies Hippies and zippity doos. Dancing with the plants is good for you. That was fun. Just dance with the plants, man. Just dance with the plants. That was fun. That was really fun, actually. I don't think I've ever danced with plants before. Mm -mm. Why do things happen here that I never do any other time? I don't know. I've never danced with a plant before. 
But it just happened. Here it happened. Yeah, man. And I think that, like, honestly, indoor gardening to me is such a uh, such a chill, cool thing. And I can't wait to see how big these things get and popping them outside when the time's right. Okay. One day I'm going to have a ton of, like, indoor gardening carrots, indoor gardening cucumbers, indoor gardening zucchinis. I'm just going to expand. Zucchini! I'm just going to expand. I'm going to grow all kinds of vegetables indoors. Zucchini! Indoor gardening is the future. It's a vegetable I haven't eaten in a while. Indoor gardening is, well, it's kind of the present, actually. It's not really the future. It's like the present. You haven't had a zucchini in a while? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Can you grow plants on Mercury? No. They either burn up to crisp or they turn into ice pop. So you can't go to Mercury and grow plants? The temperatures are Why too not? extreme. How come? The temperatures right. are too extreme? Mm -hmm. How come you can't just put a little football-sized dome on there? <laughs> you know, football-sized dome and grow some plants on there. Is that only for movies? Like Scream? Yes. But Scream wouldn't do that. Do you think he's a vegan? Ghostface? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a he? I don't know. Probably Maybe not. it's a dog. Could be. That'd be cool. Uh, vegan or I not vegan? Not vegan. No? No. I think slashers are all vegans. Well, not all of them. Some of them ate people, so that doesn't really mean <laughs> that you'd be a vegan. <laughs> Cannibalism, <laughs> veganism. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of them like ate people. Some of them just Super like... Super cash, you know? Some of them just like ate people. Needed a snack. Mmm, ears. Yeah. Some of them just like ate people. I don't think know. they'd eat an ear. Mm. That'd be gross. Mm. Of all the body parts to mm. eat. Some of them just ate some people. Yeah. No. Some of them just ate some people. A little chomp on the face. A little chomp. A little chomp on the face. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I'm sticking with it all vegans. That's what I'm going with. Why? Don't mess with those vegans. They'll get you. They'll get you. All right. They're in your face. Mm. They're telling you all about it. Your ghost face. And they're probably actually living the best, most real life that you can possibly live anyway. So. I would disagree with that, but we're not going to get into that debate. Vegan, vegetarian, vegan, vegetarian, vegan, pure vegetables all the time. It's tough. I mean, if you can do it, man. That's, it's tough, but it's a clean life. If, if you feel healthy. If I'm, you feel healthy, you know, I, I don't judge. I'm, I'm I... personally into diets and food that make people feel healthy. And by diet, I use the word, people use the word diet as, oh, I'm on a diet. I, you know, I can't it's eat this and I can't eat that. Word. Yeah, I use the word diet. I just use the word diet as like the things you're eating during your day. Like yeah, to me, that's, that's yeah. I, I use the word diet more loosely. So people think of diet as like you're starving yourself from all this stuff. Like to me, if you ask someone, what's your diet? It's just like, what do you eat during your day? You know, That's what it should be. the word diet to me isn't this bad word. No, it's it's what not, you eat. it's not yeah. like I'm on a diet. Like we, it's, it's, I don't, I don't listen to it that way. And I don't hear it that way. When I hear the word diet, it's like, what are you eating during your day? You know, what do you eat? What do you not eat? Well, you know, what's your diet? It's not a bad thing to me. It's just, yeah. What are you eating? What are you into? What foods are you eating? You know? But we can't eat these, though, because these are black-eyed Susans. Don't eat those. Can you eat the seeds? No. Mm. I don't think so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, no. No, I don't think so. Yeah. But I grew these in the wintertime, man, with a grow light. And I think anybody out there that's growing some plants, you know, indoors, growing some seeds, like, be proud of yourselves, man. It's hard to it's do. Hard to do. It's hard to do, and if you're successful, awesome. If you fail your first time, the story of life is 99.9% .9 of people fail their first time. He's so, lucky. you know, keep trying. Grow these beautiful plants. It took plants. me three years to grow a pumpkin. It took me three years to grow one pumpkin. One little one baseball pumpkin. sized pumpkin. And this pumpkin was the size of a, a baseball. It's about baseball. Yeah. It took me, so it took me three years. One year, a whole tree wiped out my entire garden. Mm -hmm. Remember that year? I do. I'm like, this garden's looking nice. What happens? A tree falls on it. Of course it does. I'm just sitting there like, oh, come on. Chucky! <laughs> Chucky did it. You know, Chucky would go down to a tree and cut it, and then it would fall on your garden. And he'd just go, 
I killed your garden, bitch! I killed your garden, bitch! Yep. That's totally what Chucky would do. That is what he Chucky would do. He would totally mess with people's gardens. He's fuck your shit. I got your garden, bitch! That's totally what Chucky would do, for sure. See? For sure. People don't understand Chucky. People that don't watch horror don't understand <sighs> Chucky. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, All right, we can I'm, get into that. I'm about to go on a rant. So, people that don't... Oh. See, she stopped when I moved out. It's different when I'm not standing here, eh? It's different. Doesn't it feel different? Well, I just didn't know what you were doing. I was just letting you go. All right. Just... Okay, bye. Okay. So, people don't understand Chucky who don't watch horror because they look at Chucky and they're like, he's a fucking doll. I could kick him in the face and he'd go flying and everybody's happy and Chucky's face is blown off. But the thing is with Chucky is he is a doll, but he is the soul of a man in the doll. So the doll actually has human strength. Mm. Hmm. So that's the secret of Chucky, hmm. that people that don't watch it and are ignorant hmm. don't know. Okay. Well, there you go. Yes. Well, if you don't watch it, you wouldn't know that. So... I'm just going to try and tie this in with the smell o vision TV that you've also invented. What smells would come out of Chucky's smell o vision TV? If you, if you had to give Chucky smells, what would Chucky smell like on a smell o vision TV? I feel like you'd need a metallic smell. Okay. Because blood has a metallic smell. So maybe like a warehouse nice. kind of vibe almost. Yeah, that's what I, I don't know if it's because I, like, that's what I associate when I think so, of Chucky. Cause so, like, a metal like metal working kind of warehouse, well, like, that that kind of yeah, like soldering metal, smell. Metal. That, like, soldering smell. Dust. You're soldering things, right? That, like, soldering smell? Mm, kind of but without the heat. Oh, okay. Because, like, burning metal has a different smell than just metal metal. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. I know that from burning a lot of video cards on computers because I suck. Oh, it's a weird smell. I only did it once, it's and okay. it smells like shit. Yeah, it does. I plugged something in wrong. It sucked. So metal, video dust, <laughs> um, plastic doesn't really have a smell. Oh, okay. But metal and dust definitely. Uh, That's cool. Those hmm. two for sure. Like okay. maybe a fabric smell, you like know, a I, fabric smell. I think you're right, and I do still think there's a shot for smell of vision TV. I I feel like I think it's doable. You know that idea has been hacking around for a while. The smell of vision TV is it doable? Is it not? Would smell of vision TV? We need TV, a technical engineer. Well, yeah, would smell of vision TV be popular enough though? Is it worth trying to make a smell of vision TV? Absolutely. But if I think people combine... people love smell so much that I think a smell of vision TV would kick ass. Smell is the strongest sense mm -hmm. connected to memory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Emotion. Yeah. Like. Your sense of smell is so important. People it, don't it leads realize. the way in your life almost. It really does. You, like, you lead your life with your smell. If it wasn't for your sense of smell, you wouldn't be able to taste anything. They say your smell attracts your partner in a lot of ways. Yeah, Some pheromones. sort of studies I've read say that your, your smell, pheromones. you yeah. can smell people and you yeah. know who's smelling good and who's smelling bad. Yep. Yeah. And you can just, you can have everybody turned around and you'd be attracted to the ones by their smell, dude. Yep. Yeah. Your smell is so important. Your smell is it very important. It leads the way in your life. You know, people say, follow your heart. Fuck your heart, man. Follow your nose, dude. So like, follow think, your nose. Think smell of how, your way through. Think of how impactful it would be to have a scene in a horror movie, we'll just take a Scream movie, for example, where someone is baking a pie. Or baking pie smells so good. Bread. Oh, a nice warm pie. A nice warm pie, a oh, nice warm bread, give me something a, like that. Give me a nice warm pie right now. You would... Oh, I already had one earlier. You would melt <laughs> into that smell. Did you hear what I said? I did. <laughs> I just went. Fair. Because okay, I have we a rolled, thought. We rolled over it. I have a thought. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. So, go, go, go. okay, so you'd be trapped into that smell of the pie mm -hmm. and the bread and the ooey oh, gooey yeah. and then slide! Oh, 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 shit! What she got me dead! She got me dead! Oh, shit, I'm down! Uh. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down! Oh, somebody call it! <laughs> she got me! Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was actually good. You actually got me. See?
See? It's in there. Wow. And you didn't even have the smell of it. Holy man, you cooked me line and sinker with that one. Good. My heart like literally went like patoof. Your ticker? Your ticker Oof. went ba bang? Oof, I didn't see you coming at me like that. I made your limbs tingle. Okay. okay. Alright, we'll see? shake that off. We'll shake that see? off. We'll shake that off. That was good. Oof. Oof. Spicy. That was good though. You had like the whole pie thing going and I was like, yeah. And I and I just end out, I was like, oh yeah, warm pie. And then oh, I look up and you're coming at me. That's how that's how you make a good horror movie. Oh. Fuck. Somebody get this girl to write some scripts. This girl's nuts. That's how you do it. Holy shit. That's how you do it. You're like, you're it's like. It's not about the scare, it's about the lead up to the scare. <sighs> <laughs> Are you sweating a little bit? A little bit. Like, I literally, <laughs> like, you, that live scare was a good one. Sweet. I just, like, I just caught me so off guard. I was like. I was, I'm still like frozen in time here. I'm like, okay, shake that off. That was good, man. Thank you. You know, I think like the way you just led that up and you sucked me right in with the pie and I was just sitting here. I'm like, oh, that warm pie. And then like, I thought you were going to just keep talking about pie. I didn't even see the coming in. So can you imagine if you Holy had the smell shit. of it? Holy shit. Holy squirts and pie. How like... <sighs> Bigger that scare would end up being. Shit. Mama's homemade pie coming at you. Because you'd be so focused on that goddamn pie. That's it. That's it. You get a slice of mama's homemade pie right in your face, and you'd be like, "Whoa!" And then you die. Mama gave you that pie smell right in your face. You die because you're too focused on the pie. <laughs> nice, nice though. That's cool. Yep. I don't like that. I like that. Okay. Well, I'll take that one. I can for sure. That was good though. Honestly. Wow. Wow. You've always said you wanted to write a book and your ideas are boundless. So I mean like shit, man. I feel like there's a natural <sighs> progression that's going to happen here where I'm going to write a book that's going to turn into a script that's going to turn into a movie. Your, yeah, ver your imagination is by far even more than mine. Like no, I, sw nah. I swear to God, like I have, a, I have a good imagination, but your imagination is far like superior than mine. The only difference between our imaginations is I ground my imagination reality where your imagination's like really out there. I leave it on which Mercury. Is, I leave it on Mercury you sometimes. You leave it on Mercury, which is wonderful. <laughs> I, I leave I it up. That. I leave it up on Mercury to get really weird, and then when I need it, I just because you get think it. of shit that I would never think of, and then I'm like, oh, let's bring it down just a little bit. <laughs> Where's my imagination? Oh, I hung it up on Mercury. We're I better just lose a balloon. I better just take that down again for a minute and just yeah. drop it right here. Just better take that. Just put it right here. Yeah. That's true. That's true for sure. I don't know, dude. And then when we put them together, we make things like this. Because starting a brand is fun, and this is our brand. We Beyond the Dollhouse figurines. Obsessed. I want to bring this back. You know, okay, so this we is the thing. Should we to... just should we just wrap it up, I guess, yeah. with this? Go. Whee! Nice. Yeah, nice. okay, that was fun. So the thing with us and brands, and the people that know us might know a little bit more, but if you don't know us, we've started um, a couple brands, and the thing with us and starting brands is that uh, we go hard on them for a little while and then we put them aside because we burn ourselves out. We don't know how to balance. True. We We're getting better. Yeah, we suck at balance, so we burn ourselves out. And when you burn yourselves up, when you burn yourself out, you just start to feel like shit. So we're really trying to find that balance between, you know, rocking the brand good, but at the same time staying balanced within, you know, just kind of living life, right? Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a fine line, but we, we've, you know, we've put out forward and there's actually a few people out there that have some of our dolls that we, we've sold, you know, some to some people. Yep. So there's some of these beautiful Beyond the Dollhouse figurines out there. And um, yeah, thank you to anybody who's picked one up. Absolutely. And um, we'll do a little spin. Yeah, so thank you to the people that have picked one up, and we will continue to try to make them better. I know we took a bit of a hiatus on it, but uh, we just we needed more time to learn. We we just didn't learn a, a lot enough, um, but we have learned some more. So I do feel like for our brand, this will be a I new, love the movement uh, new start. In this one. Yeah, the movement in this one is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. All of that. That's great. Look at that thing go. 
Wow. I. Wow. I'm like, I'm still like, I'm, I came up with some like, you know, I had to pull myself together after you scared me. Like I, I, that legit was like, I like hit the floor (laughs) over there. I was staring at the roof. Like, did she just like scare the shit out of me? I was like, what? Did you poop your pants? I pooped my pants a little bit. We gotta go change his underwear. Uh, damn, I shit myself. I shit myself. Let's go change your pants. Remember, I just want to throw one more shout out to the seeds. Um, seriously, man, indoor gardening, get into it. It's, it's really, um, helped my soul cleanse. And if you, if you get into growing plants, it's so good for your soul, man. And yeah, it really helps you slow down and realize like life is like a seed, man. You just got to plant that seed and let it grow. Cause like nothing else really makes it. And remember one single acorn can start a whole forest. <laughs>